Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I literally just woke up. I still wet. <clears throat> you know, you know, I, I make, uh, uh, I genuinely make my videos. So I literally just got up, brushed my teeth. Um, and I want to give you guys, uh, what I think about what everyone's saying right now about Virgil Ortiz Jr. Um, I do, uh, I did sleep in, in my jewelry. Uh, so my neck is going to be smelling like earring backs. I'm going to have to, uh, tell my lady, my, if you get close to my neck, you want to smell earring backs. Okay. That's sweat sleeping overnight in your jewelry. All right, let's, let's move on. Okay. So, um, Virgil Ortiz Jr. I think I, I'm hearing two things. And I think both things sounds idiotic. <laughs> Hold on, my baby's upstairs sleep. <laughs> but I think both things sounds idiotic. One, I'm hearing um, that Virgil Ortiz is definitely the next star. Okay? It's so funny because you have those who like Virgil Ortiz but don't like Ryan Garcia. The funny thing is they fight just alike. They both fighting with it with the cell phone. Pressing forward the entire fight, breaking you down, except for Ryan Garcia is more talented. He's faster, def his hands the fastest in boxing, better reflexes, footwork better on the retreat uh, to counter. All right, he's using this distance a little bit better. Just a little bit, though, because Virgil Ortiz uses distance well. I'm not saying Virgil Ortiz isn't the star. I'm saying it's so funny how you can be so high on one and so low on the other when they both are fighting just alike. Take a look at them. You want to know why you're high on one and low on the other? Emotional, right? I like, I, I, I feel better about <laughs> Virgil Ortiz. That's a personal thing. But I'm just saying how boxing fans are. They don't look about, they don't look at in-ring performance. Stylistically, you can't like Virgil Ortiz without like Ryan Garcia. Stylistically, emotionally, different thing and that's on you. But I'm just saying, I want something, I want you guys to really think about that. Also, the second thing that I'm hearing that is, <laughs> is that Virgil Ortiz isn't ready for boots. I read an article on this as soon as I woke up. Virgil Ortiz isn't ready for boots. Sounds idiotic. Okay. Um, especially when people think that Errol the True Spence is ready for Terrence Bud Crawford. You don't get it? All right, look. Boots Ennis and Virgil Ortiz are both on the same level as far as career-wise, okay? Um, so they're equal there. But stylistically, you're looking at a very similar dynamic to Terrence Bud Crawford and Errol True Spence. I don't have to explain, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my two sugars. You know, I went, um, went to the Comic-Con with my family. It's always an amazing time, especially, I mean, just being a huge comic nerd the way I am, cartoon nerd, if you're an anime nerd, if you're whatever, um, just an awesome time. And for me, I go way back and my childhood was all over there and to see my children um, enjoying it as well. I just felt like a great father uh, over the weekend. Um, Ms. Biz, she's a huge nerd too. So she was in her own thing. Um, just amazing. Okay. But let's break this out. Get my black two sugars. <sighs> okay. Um, you're talking about Errol Spence versus Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford being more athletic, um, um, more dynamic, uh, stylistically, uh, flash KO power with his accuracy um, and punching power and timing. Then you have Elder Truth Spence, who is a pressure cooker, but extremely technically sound. Beats you textbook and rips to the body, breaks you down. You saw yesterday Virgil Ortiz um, knocking out McKinson to the body, dropping him a few times to the body. They, they wave in the, the white tile for, due to body shot punishment. Now, when you look at Virgil Ortiz and Boots, same dynamic. They're not on the same level as Earl Truth Spence versus Terrence Bud Crawford as far as career-wise. But stylistically, same dynamic. When you have boots, athletic, dynamic style, um, accuracy, one punch, flash, knockout power, great timing, slick fighter, all those things. And a fighter, fighter, a dog 
all those things. Then you have Virgil Ortiz, same thing as Earl True Spence, pressure cooker, tight defense, textbook, you get it. All I'm saying is, if you're going to say that Virgil Ortiz isn't ready for boots due to what you see stylistically, um, just like Earl True Spence, a lot of Earl True Spence great abilities aren't noticed by the untrained eye. I say train your eye. If Virgil Ortiz isn't ready for Boots, Elder Chu Spence isn't ready for Terrence Bud Crawford. No, they both ready. Elder Chu Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford, great fight, the best fight matchup in boxing. Virgil Ortiz and Boots Ennis both coming up, definitely ready for each other. But don't bring up that conversation without bring up, bringing up Conor Ben. I want to say congratulations to Blair Cobb, Blair the Flair. Woo! <laughs> had to do it. Even if it woke up my babies, I had to do it. Um, I'm going to make a video about Blair Cobb. Um, having more heart to Jake Paul with uh, Maurice Hooker coming in three pounds overweight. Blair, the flair still the, the night before the fight. We got, we got a, a, a few things to discuss here. Blair dribbled him off the canvas three, four times. I don't know how many times. It's Maurice Hooker. Okay. And Blair, the flair, flair uh, uh, showing poise and, and beating him. But Blair has the type of style that would beat Maurice. Maurice hates that shit. <laughs> um, congratulations to Blair the Flair. Um, but I'd like to know what you all think about what I said about Ryan Garcia, Virgil Ortiz, Virgil Ortiz, Boots isn't ready for Boots, and Errol Detroit Spence, Terrence Bud Crawford. Let's see what you all feel in the, in the comments below. I'm not saying that Virgil Ortiz is on Errol Detroit Spence's level. I'm not saying Boots is on Terrence Crawford's level. I'm saying, stylistically, use your eyes. Not your heart when analyzing boxing. I'm out.